What they provided, Mr. Speaker, is lip service. Of the hundreds of campaign promises, Mr. Speaker, there wasn't a single mention of softwood lumber in the Liberal campaign platform, not in the speech from the throne, not in the minister's mandate letter. One of the most important trade deals between Canada and the U.S., and not a single mention, Mr. Speaker, zero. In six days, the current softwood agreement ends. What will it take for the Prime Minister to acknowledge the incompetence of this Trade Minister and pick up the phone, call his BFF, and protect and save the 400,000 yes. the Honourable Minister of International Trade. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to start by reminding the members opposite that this accord expired under the previous government's watch. Yesterday, I was in Toronto negotiating with Mike Froman with representatives of our industry from across the country. U.S. negotiators are still in Toronto talking to my team. And I'd like to remind the member for Caribou Prince George of something he said in committee on August 18th, and I'm quoting him. I can appreciate that there's been a considerable amount of work done by both Global Affairs